Meat sandwiches here. Time to take a look at the movies. Let's hey. meet at the movies. Let's all meet at the movies. Let's all meet at the movies. Let's all meet at the movies. Because the movies is where we meet. Meat sandwich. All right. I hear the mummy is going to be terrible. That is what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, the big movie this weekend is The Mummy. This is Universal's attempt at launching their own universe of movies to kind of rival Marvel and DC. But Universal doesn't have any superheroes, so they have to dig back into their archives. And the, the idea is solid. You know, it's kind of... You say dig into their archives. They go into the public domain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right that's to, true. to find monsters that uh, no one has the rights to. Yeah, well, they they had like the rights. anyone can have a mummy. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but they were the ones that made the original monster movies in like the 30s and 40s. So they're trying to relaunch that. So mm-hmm. uh, they're trying to relaunch this whole series of like the mummy and the Wolfman and the Invisible Man and all that stuff. Uh, and the mummy's going to supposed to be the first one in that series. And the mummy's been rebooted once before uh, in the, in the 90s. They did the Brendan Fraser version. Uh, that's a fun. Version. Yeah, that was, that was you know was so- was solid, enjoyable. Fun. Yeah, solid fun. And uh, they. This time around, Universal is betting on huge star power for all these movies. This one has Tom Cruise to play the lead. Uh, and Russell Crowe is also in this movie playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, and he's and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is supposed to be like the Nick Fury of this universe. Mm. He's going to pop up in all the movies and like recruit people for the monster Avengers or whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't really know what exactly they're planning there. Uh, this seems like a case of Universal kind of counting their chickens before they hatch because the mummy is supposed to be terrible. And I don't think anyone's going to go see it. <laughs> And so I don't know anything like this. The rest of this universe thing, I don't think is going to pan out. Terrible way to kick off a franchise. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm hearing it represents like the worst of modern blockbusters. Like nothing is scary. Nothing is interesting. The movie kind of stops dead in the middle for like 20 minutes just to set up the future movies, like the other movies. Yeah. So it's like Uh, uh, trying too hard. Yeah, exactly. And it also just seems like a missed opportunity. If you're going to cast Tom Cruise in a mummy movie, why would you not call that movie? Show me the mummy. (laughs) <laughs> that's <laughs> show me the mummy. Oh, that's perfect, yeah, right? That just seems like a missed opportunity to me. So the mm. mummy, at least have that as the tagline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, so the mummy, yeah, supposedly not great. There is another movie out this weekend I am pretty excited about, uh, and that's a new horror movie called It Comes at Night. Uh, and this is a low budget movie starring Joel Edgerton from the studio that made The Witch last year, uh, which was really great. And uh, I genuinely don't know the plot of this movie. I've seen the trailer a few times. I saw a couple things online about this saying this is the scary movie yeah that's yeah. what i've heard, I've heard. like it, it, this will this is gonna like keep you up at night it's, yeah. it's that scary <laughs> yeah. i really want to see this yeah it looks really cool it's like mostly built on atmosphere and creepy imagery and uh, i've heard it might be like too dark and grim for some viewers uh which sounds I love it sounds perfect to me yeah. like that's <laughs> so if you're into that kind of thing it sounds like this is a great horror movie for you uh, and then finally, I did want to mention there's this movie Megan Levy out this weekend, uh, That's right. which yeah. is a uh, talk we talked about on the show because it's a true story based on a woman from right here in the Hudson Valley. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Kate Mara plays a young Marine and the movie centers on her bond with a military dog named Rex during their time in Iraq. I'm hearing pretty good things about it, too. Which yeah, is nice. I guess the dog like saves her life and then she tries to adopt the dog. Right. And, and this is a true story. Like, uh, you know, the real Megan Levy, she had to go to like Chuck Schumer to try to like, you know, help her, you know, eventually get reunited with this dog and. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, and I'm hearing it's actually pretty good. This is a lot better than people expected it to be. I feel like these are it's a kind of like schmaltzy emotional story that I don't usually like, but every once in a while there's a really good one, and it sounds like this, sounds yeah. like this one could be it. It's so. got a local connection too, and so. it's got that local connection, so mm. it's probably a must watch for dog lovers too. I would say. Uh, so my recommendation is go see It Comes at Night this weekend. Probably avoid the Mummy at all costs, uh, which you were probably planning on doing anyway. Uh, Megan Levy is also a pretty good alternative. So until next time, we'll meet at the movies. All right, meat sandwich. Thanks as always. There yep, we go. Yep. We love meat at the movies. <laughs> Let's all meet at the movies. Let's all meet at the movies. Let's all meet at the movies. Because the movies is where we meet.